now you have seen that uh, what are the different type of uh, you know operations we can do and we now want to go in further detail uh, and for with other operations so let's start uh, you know taking some scenario one by one and based on that i will show you how we can resolve those scenarios and to do this the first thing that we have done that i have done is i have read this particular csv file and the name i have given as covid index okay so uh, maybe covid index is no more required say for example only covid okay so if you just print covid dot head as it is it will show that the first five data right so that means there is a data frame created by this code now i can work with this now the first thing that we will understand that is what you can say describe what is this there is a function describe which actually used to describe various distribution uh, not various distribution but various information about the distribution of the data in your data set so how to write this i will just write say for example uh, you know d equal to uh, d equal to the the file the the um, data frame name that is covid okay dot describe sorry something like this okay and if you just run this you see what you will get i'm sorry i mean i have to print this di yes now you see what you are getting <clears throat> you are actually getting another table and there are it's representing 8 row 35 columns but here I have 40 columns why not why where the five columns gone you see to realize this just see the left you know the index part what is given here count mean standard deviation this is std mean standard deviation mean 25 percent 50 percent 75 percent and max these are the eight different measurements calculated with respect to each and every column in the data set and what is this count means count means total number of you know values present over here in this total basis and their mean their standard deviation so and what is this 25 percent 50 percent and 75 percent this actually represents the three quart times if you if you if you have this knowledge like if you have a data set and if you if you see the distribution you will see that we can actually uh, divide the data into four different quartiles i mean four different uh, you can say uh, four different Mm, parts and those four different parts is divided by three quantiles first quantile second quantile and third quantile the first quantile based on 25 percent second quantile based on 50 percent data third quantile based on 75 percent of the data based on the distribution so these come and these are max which is the max value present in this total case column similarly for the other data set but if you closely look the actual data set you will see that there are some columns like iso code continent location date which does not have any numerical value present right that's why you cannot count like max mean and something like that all the distributions and all that mean there was five columns present in this data set whose you know distribution cannot be obtained that's why 
automatically those five columns has been vanished from this table and for the rest of the 35 columns the result and you know the distribution and all the information came over here so in this way you can understand you know that's why it is saying describe now let's come to a uh, uh, come to a next uh, point that suppose i want to select all the rows of a particular column okay so select all the rows of a column so already i think we have done we have seen this but still again i am telling you here okay, for example i am writing temp temp is a say data frame name and i have to write covid then within bracket you can put something like say for example uh, say i have given continent okay i have given continent i'm sorry I can get this one but if you want to get in form of data frame then you have to give this one in a list okay this one in a list okay and if you do this you will see now you are getting in form of data frame previously you got in form of a series now you are getting in form of a data frame but already you know that if you have you know for example more than one columns you can just put a comma and you can write something like that and if you just is this if you just run this you will get something like this so in this way you can go for one or multiple columns you can choose and all the rows now suppose i don't want to go for all the rows so i want to select uh, select uh, rows based on condition based on condition how we can do this you see say for example say for example again i'm writing temp here just since it's a temporary data frame i'm taking so what i can write like say covid okay covid of something i will take right and within this square bracket i have to put the criteria what will be the criteria criteria say will be uh, say for example i want to go for a particular country okay so the continent should be say north america in that case only that part i will take so continent of what continent of the covid data frame itself that's why you have to put here covid again covid of continent okay so this is this one equal equal within single quote north america and if you now check this you will get uh you know 6029 rows that mean only those row where the continent is north america what my point now there is a problem here problem in the sense that you see if you look into the indexes over here you will see that index is not evenly you know calculated like 0 1 2 3 4 in this way there are some indexes suddenly 37735 36 something like that like what i mean to say is that if there is 6029 rows the maximum index should be 6028 right because row starts from you know the index value starts from zero we all know that but here the last index value present here is 37739 the reason is that you know the data is not you know distributed in in, in various order the data north america is distributed in various in, in arbitrarily in the data set some from the first part of the data some from middle some in the latter part and accordingly the you know uh, 
the data has been filtered out with respect to their indexes from the original data set. What I can do, you know, if you want to work with some index values, after getting the filtered data frame, it is going to be very difficult if the data frame is not properly sorted, you know, the index is not properly sorted. That's why we have to reset these index values starting from 0 till the last so that the last index value ended by 6028. To do this, what we can do? We can apply, uh, you know, I'm just showing you here I, how I can do this. We can write temp dot reset underscore index within bracket. Okay, anyway, if I put this one and if I run this again, then you see what will happen. What is happening here? I got a new index starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and till 6, 0, 2, 8. But what old index I had that remain and came as one of the column in the data frame. But this particular index as a column, I don't want, I don't require this. It is an extra burden for me. So what I can do? I obviously will try to drop this particular column, right? So in that case, within this reset index function, we can write drop equal to true. And if you do this, you will see, if you run this again, you will see that you see, whatever previous index had gone, there is no previous index and index is properly sorted starting from 0 to 6028. Now you can simply work on index value properly. Okay. Now gone. Fine. Now you see a very vital thing that you have to understand here is that there are lot of values which is null. Right. But you know, you cannot work with these null values. You cannot apply any calculation on these values. So, for example, if you try to apply some calculation on this total cases column, just because of this presence of none value, you will not able to complete that. So what we have to do? There are three, I mean, different things that you can do. Maybe you don't want to, you know, you know, I mean, you don't want to remove those row. You want to say show somehow that what, how many missing values are present. I mean, you can try to represent this missing value by some particular string, for example, data missing. Or maybe you may want to represent this non value by zero, all zeros, non means zero. Okay, so then it will be easier to calculate. Or maybe you can try to uh, say, for example, uh, simply drop the non-values, right? I mean, not drop the non-values means drop all the row which has this non-value, right? So, I will show you one by one. Again, I will tell, I will take team equal to data frame name. I am taking from COVID. So, from the original data frame I am taking, okay? From this original data frame, if I want to say, for example, let's take the first one that I want to, you know, represent uh, the non value by some particular uh, string. Say, for example, data missing. String, string will be data missing. Okay. How I can do that? You see, in this situation, I mean, to do this, I have to first, I mean, need, need the NumPy package. Okay. I need NumPy package. Already you know what NumPy package is. I have in my previous video. So first let's import that. Import NumPy as np. Done. And then what you can write. You can write temp equal to say the covid dot the data frame name replace because I want to replace 
Okay. Now what I want to replace? I want to replace all the none value. So np dot none. Okay. By some particular string data missing. Suppose the string is data missing, and also you have to write a keyword regex equal to true. Okay. This is actually a regular expression. Uh, represent regular expression, but you know you don't have idea maybe what about regular expression. Uh, that's why you know right now you don't need to worry about this, but you know if you write this one, okay. And if you write this, and then if you print the ten data frame, you will see what you will get. You will get all the columns thirty nine thousand two hundred seventy one rows as it is because you are taking from original data frame. But what you know changes is here wherever i had none is replaced by the string data missing okay this is one situation there is one more thing you can try that is you want to represent you want to replace all the none value by zero in that case what you will do it's very easy actually you will just write the data column name data frame name dot then fill sorry fill any by some value the value that you want to put okay that's all okay and if you want to do this and if you if you if you if you just print this you see what information what bits i mean difference you will get from this one and this one is that wherever i had data missing is represented by zero i mean not data missing actually wherever i had none is actually replaced by zeros all zeros so if it is replaced by zero definitely it will be easier to calculate for you know it, for example you want to check the distribution of the data okay the standard deviation or mean median you want to find out for this total cases column for all the rows in that case it will be now easier to do that okay or and one more thing you can try like you can simply try to drop the row if it any i mean if any column has none value, what I mean is that in the original data frame, maybe you have a none value here. For example, let's come to the original data frame again. Uh, yes, this is the original, right? No, this is not. This one. Yes, this one. Here you see, I have none here. I have none here. I have none maybe somewhere over here or here. So, you know, none can be presented in any of the columns of the row, wherever it may be, if in at least one column, even in one column, the none is present, I want to remove the row, suppose. In that case, what we can do, we can have a very straightforward technique, I'll, I'll write here, that is, you just write them, that will be create a new data frame, after dropping all the rows, having none value, even in a single row, a single column, what we can write, we can again COVID dot, we can have a function drop any. So it represents drop all the rows where even in a single column there is a none value. And if you print here, you will see very few rows left from the original data frame where all the values are not none. There will be some value present here. And naturally, you can see that, uh, you know, the, the index value is arbitrary. The reason is that the index value was not sorted. So what I can do? I can try to sort this. How you can do that? I can simply, you know, after writing COVID dot drop in a, I can write dot reset index as already you have seen drop equal to two that's all and if you run this again you will see you see now the index starts from zero to two five four seven because total number of rows is two five four eight and all the columns so in this way you can you can play with you know you can play with the non value or maybe you can simply remove all the rows which has non value and all so it totally depends upon user's choice or the you can say programmer's choice now next come to a uh, uh, a very important point that is suppose in some cases you need uh, 
you need to uh, say for example uh, over here in the in the total cases you have uh, everything in float right you have seen that the data type of this total cases uh, column is float but total cases cannot be you know uh, cannot be a fraction right it's always a, a whole number so instead of keeping in float maybe if i put in, in integer then it will be easier to do some task maybe right in that case what we have to do we have to type cast we have to type cast the uh, you know the the object into some form how we can do that First, let's see what exactly the right is. So, for example, COVID, sorry, COVID dot. Okay. Uh, say, for example, not dot or maybe within bracket colon. I'm writing total cases dot d type. If I, sorry, dot d type, what it will print? It will print the data type of this particular column and if I want to change or type cast the data type to another form what we can write we can simply write COVID total case okay COVID total case uh, equal to COVID total case dot there is a function as type and within the function, whatever, you know, data type to where you want to typecast, you have to write. For example, I want to typecast to int. Okay. And then, if you check what is the data type of this one. You will see. That... Uh, what happened? There was a okay. Sorry, sorry. Already there was uh, some value which is you know it's showing the error is showing because there is some non value present in the original data frame. So I cannot work with COVID right now, but I can work with temp here because temp have all zeros here. So I can work with temp. Okay, I can work with temp. So, you see, whatever, team total case D type is also uh, float 64. And if I now run this one, you see, the total cases data type becomes in 32. In this way, we can change the data type or basically you can say type cause the data, data type of a particular column into any other type based on user requirement.